All right, I wanted to do a video on my setup. So I got a Solix 12, um, Hummingbird Solix 12, and here's my instrument cluster. So what I've got is this is the transducer. This is power. Here's a NEMA network that I created. It's a NEMA 2000. And then this ethernet cable goes up to the front and up there I have a Hummingbird Solix 10. So, um, on my motor, there's a 10 pin, and that 10 pin goes to a smart craft. You can see it through there. I have a smart craft. I forget what model that is. And then, <clears throat> Up here under the dash, I kind of got it all apart and uh, doing a video because there was not a lot of information. And I should get a flashlight so you can see this. So, Mercury has this four way junction box, right? So, coming from the motor. It comes in here. Now this is a four-way junction, okay? I don't know if this is, you know, it's a junctioning to here or to here. It's a switch, it's basically. And so, this goes up to SmartCraft and to the, obviously to the ignition switch and the special cable. You buy a gateway so there's a terminator on this end. You just gotta turn up, terminate the data. So, uh, uh, let me back up. This is coming from the motor. If you remember, the blue cable comes from the motor right there, and then it goes out to the smart craft into the ignition switch. This cable then is to the gateway. Right now, the gateway then comes in here and this is your CAN bus information which on that motor it's unclear to me if that's like ODB information or if it's proprietary mercury or uh, CAN bus was something that I, I think came out of Canada <laughs> CAN bus whoever came up with that but it's it's basically the motor information or whatever data is coming in here and this is creating a gateway which uh, sends the information to a NEMA 2000 network and then so this is coming down to my my NEMA this is a, a network I created this is going up to the graph and this is going up to the bow so when you turn the switch to the on position and over here now you can see I got 12 volts and it's saying it's 50 degrees and obviously my death and this other stuff is not happening I feel it's not showing any fuel until it would be running uh, SOG and miles per hour RPMs so it's got engine temperature RPMs and this one's fuel rate and how much fuel you got uh, obviously those are all sensors that have to go through that network in order to have that information all right so if I go to my home and I go to my settings and we look at the network and then I'm going to do network info and you'll see there's the net, the MAC address and then here's the system info. So you'll see Solex 12 and its MAC address for those of you guys that know it networking and this is kind of its name and then 
under you have NEMA 183 and you got a couple of those NEMA 2000 so we want to know that it's connected so it is connected then um, I, th I have to find out where yeah okay bear with me just one second uh, under NEMA 2000 down here at the bottom then you can go into NEMA 2000 devices and here's our gateway KNP multi pin and it's check marked oops go back to settings network There's a gateway pan, uh, CAN bus, and then here's our NEMA 2000 again. Uh, so we know the device is there, and then so then you can calibrate different settings, your temperature offset if there is one. Depth, um, STW calibration, I'm not sure what that is, fuel calibration. Um, so you have, you know, the, those details. That's in your CAN bus. Now, all right, so what you want to do is uh, go back to your settings and then you want to go to your, let's just go home. All right. You're gonna to go to your home, you can go to your settings, and then obviously this is back where I was. So if you did that, you'd be out of it. But you're gonna hit the home button, settings, and then you got chirp solo chart, navigation general, my vessel, network, simulation. You're gonna set up your vessel and all that stuff, but we're just dealing with the network. So just to review, if you go to system info, it gives you, you know, your model name, serial number, MAC address, for those of you who are into networking. And then internal GPS, right now it's saying it's not fixed, and I'm not sure why, but anyway, we're going to, you got NEMA 183, one, 1 and 2. And then you got a NEMA 2000. So I created a NEMA 2000 network and it shows that I'm connected. So then if we can go to our network info and then that's telling us our network. Um, you can configure a new network. And uh, at first you, you may want to do that. Uh, we'll hit cancel. It'll sync networks data sources. So in under that data sources, uh, we got our death, which is going to be our transducer, and then our second data source. We could make that the CAN bus. And right now it's auto configure it's in auto configure so if we look at that again it's on auto configure but it's showing that it's a NEMA 2000 data source then under GPS we want our our main one to be under internal so we want to turn that off turn that back on and then we're gonna hit auto configure and it'll reconfigure it and then under two, we can select that as the CAN bus if you, if you had something going into the gateway. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, under your heading, I don't have a, a, uh, an HDG and speed through water. You select the CAN bus and it's under auto configure pitch and roll I don't have anything A AIS I don't have anything and then under our temperatures number one is going to be the sonar temperature 
Number two is going to be our CAN bus. Back to on and auto configure. Number three is my CAN bus. So what information the motor is sending me, I, I'm not sure yet. Uh, number three is just out. Um, I could say CAN bus, let it auto configure, but it's giving me the number. So if you look at the number, they're the same. So I don't, I'm not sure what data we're receiving other than the engine temperature. Wind speed and direction, I don't have any because I don't have a GPS radar. Air temperature, there's no air temperature. Barometric pressure, also don't have that. Wind chill heat index, I don't have that either. So then we get to down here, engine one, two, and three. So if you got three engines, you can do each engine's data. But under number one is what I have, then I've got the NEMA instance zero. And I guess that how that's how it names each motor. So it could be that I need to put this under you know another instance. Right now it's none. And uh, if you look at that again, you take this off, you still have zero. So turn that on. And then down to your fuel rate, fuel flow, under engine one, we're under the gateway. We turn that off for some reason, it's still showing the gateway. So there's the gateway. And then tank one, you want it under. Now here you're going to determine whether you're instance one or two. So if you had two tanks, you would have this instance and then you would have that instance. So you'd have two different datas telling you your tanks. And then the other stuff is just video and like originally temperature. Again, we want that to be the sonar temp. And that's pretty much how you set it up. You see I have a voltage drop. And um, in this screen, it gives me a lot of information. I have a, I have my side window open and I've got like oil pressure. Um, if that information is being sent, I'll get that. Trim tab, if I have that information, I will get that as well. Again, fuel rate, and then how much fuel I actually have. Engine temperature, and then this is going to be my RPMs. And it's telling me how many hours is on the motor. So I got 287 hours on the motor. And then this is going to give me speed over ground. Uh, so you can see 50 is set right now at a warning. And uh, I could increase that. And also I could change this. So like under my instrument, under engine data, say edit, select, select this. So select instrument. should tell me select instrument uh, edit instrument so data type so it's going to give you this is going to tell you what type it is so we go down to RPMs. You 
engine RPM. Is it RPM 1, RPM 2, or RPM 3? So we're going to say 1. And then you can select. There we go. Data type. Engine, and that's engine temperature. Engine temp one. If we went back to this and we said data type, went back to temperature. engine temperature one that's not it I'm sorry I know RPMs engine RPM RPM one oh, oh okay so that shows that RPM one if we say RPM We're gonna we're gonna go out and say data limits. Now I, I've got zero to six thousand RPMs, and then I have a warning light at five thousand. So if I wanted to adjust that, I could adjust it. 